So, the first station, what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna grab this part here. This is what we call the bit clip, so that's what holds all the different bits. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, bit clip. And the first thing we're gonna do is just put some grease. So, uh, there's some tubs. Uh, get some basically on this gigantic Q tip. And you're basically just going to get a little bit on the end there. Uh, and yeah, so it's the end with the six spokes. Right. Yep. So that's the end. You're going to put a little bit of grease in the middle. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's a good amount. Perfect. And then the next step is you're going to grab this little guy. We call that the taining pin. That's a little spring. Yeah. Uh, so there's an end with a hole. That's the end that you want to put into the hole you just greased. Got it. Okay. And then you're going to grab your end cap here. And you're just going to sit it on top of that thing that you just greased as a little hat. And in front of you now on the presses, there's a tool that looks like this. This is the side you're going to look at when you look at your press. You're going to just rest it in there. And then this little thing in here will help everything stay lined up. So you want to just get it rested on there like that. Now when they're all ready to go, pull that handle. This is going to come down and press and this is going to make a click when it's done. When it clicks, that is the first step done. Perfect. So first up, all good. We can pull that out. And now we are basically ready to head over to station two. By the end of this, we'll appreciate why they're so expensive. <laughs> take a handle. We're gonna take that little accent ring. And then there's a little lip on the top. That ring just sits on it like that. And it's gonna locate there. It's loose until we press the next piece on, but just hold it on there. And then you're gonna take this ratchet and if you actually look closely, you see how this ratchet has like two wings that stick out sort of? Yeah. yeah. If you look kind of on the end of it, one's what, like fatter than the other one. You yeah. see how like one's kind of real skinny and one's a little fatter? Yeah. Yes. If you look at the end of your handle, one. there's a fatter hole and a skinnier hole. Yeah. Those line up the right way. So it should key in one way. This way, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And you should be able to get it pressed in like kind of like with a quarter inch left. So now, just like before, we've got the tooling looks like this. Put the base in, just snap it up like that. And that should sit by itself in your tool. Mm -hmm. And then, just like before, grab the handle, press it. This one won't click, but once it goes all the way down, ooh, good catch. Yes, make sure that that shoulder ring is lined up. Press it until it stops. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff, good stuff. There you go. So now you have a handle with a ratchet attached. This is basically a screwdriver that doesn't hold bits. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. No bit storage at the end, but yeah. you can twist that screwdriver. So now that that's done, over to station three, last step to get it all put together. Now, you're gonna take your handle piece, hold it with the open end of the handle pointing up, so shaft down. Take your bit clip part, just line it up and drop it down. And then this little space is what our last press is gonna do. So just like before, you've got a tool in front of you. This is the side that's facing out from the press. Go so in this way and rock it forward. Awesome, and then same thing, press it down again. It won't click, but once the gap is closed up, it is a finished screwdriver. Alright. Yeah, pop that out. So now this should be able to slide. It takes a little bit to break in because the grease needs a minute to spread around. Mm -hmm. When you pull that out, as you twist it and as you open and close it, it'll spread that grease around and it will kind of smooth out a little bit. And you got that ratchet selector ring in the middle position, it's locked, turns it into just a fixed screwdriver. Turn it left to drive left, twist it right to drive right. 